Did you know that the average American consumes 150 pounds of sugar every year? The British used to call it white gold, and in 1493, Columbus brought sugarcane to the New World on his second voyage. The health of Americans has been suffering ever since. In the 1950s, high fructose corn syrup was invented, and it's chemically about the same as table sugar. About 80% of the food supply in America now contains high fructose corn syrup. It makes unhealthy food taste great and has contributed immensely to two-thirds of Americans now being overweight or obese. This has caused an ever-increasing waistline in the U.S. and issues with diabetes, diabetic neuropathy, and all forms of nerve compression. The correlation between sugar and nerve compression is actually fairly straightforward. The excess sugar in a person's system tends to pull water into peripheral nerves and makes them swell. While the nerve itself is swelling, sugar actually makes the nerve covering less pliable and more resistant to accommodating the swelling nerve. With a swelling nerve and a less pliable covering, damage begins to occur. Less blood and oxygen get to the nerves and resulting pain and numbness results which is called neuropathy. At the Scottsdale Neuropathy Institute, Dr. Richard Jacoby has been expertly managing all types of foot and ankle neuropathy for over two decades. Effective options include nutritional modification, pain medications, laser treatment, regenerative medicine with stem cell therapies, and surgical decompression options. Success rates have been exceptional, and Dr. Jacoby is currently publishing a book with HarperCollins called Sugar Crush, detailing the scope of the problem and available treatments. For more information and scheduling appointments at the Scottsdale Neuropathy Institute, call 480-994-5977 today.